Hi, this is Brad Niehaus, Field Sales Grounds of Pioneer Hybrid out here in Southwest Kansas. Today I wanted to hit on Western Bend Cutworm. This has been a hot topic, topic uh, the last few weeks. There's been a, a lot of moth activity and a lot of egg laying going on in these fields. Uh, it's a pest we deal with most years, but it seems like this year it, it's really bad. We want to make sure we catch these guys because they can be a very destructive pest for your corn crop. Typically what I like to do is, you know, as we get uh, tassel time here, that's usually when the moth flight occurs, come out here in four or five different areas in the field and inspect, you know, up to 20 plants. Usually you just want to kind of look at the top of the leaf surface from, from the ear leaf up. Uh, that's usually where they lay the eggs. And not necessarily, they can lay them in the lower part or underneath, I have seen that, but usually it's kind of right in through here from the ear leaf up. You want to check those. Uh, if we get five to ten percent of these plants with an egg mass on them, that probably warrants a treatment. Uh, they can be very destructive because once they hatch, they typically are going to feed on pollen and then they're going to move down to this ear. Once they get in the ear, we cannot control them any longer. And data is suggested anywhere from five to ten bushel per acre loss with just one larva per ear. So that is, we want to make sure we knock them out before they get in here. Uh, be, Otherwise, we won't be able to control them. We can control them with pyrethroids. Uh, it's, they're pretty easy to kill. Uh, one thing out here in our area, though, we do have a lot of mite pressure. So if we're spraying a pyrethroid and we knock out our beneficials, we could flare those mites. But if we have treatable levels, let's go ahead and get them knocked out. The other thing, a new technology that came out a few years ago for Pioneer was AML or Lepta, Leptra uh, Viptera technology. If you have that, uh, you will, it will control your Western Bend cutworm. Uh, Herculex 1 or Cry 1F used to be on label for suppression of Western Bean cutworm. It is no longer on there. Um, that got dropped a few years ago. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. Will Herculex provide some control? It probably will provide some, but it's probably not going to be satisfactory underneath high levels of pressure. So just remember that. If you ever have any questions, uh, about scouting or timing of this pest, please reach out to your local field sales agronomist or local sales agent and we'd be happy to help. Thank you very much. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.